Honourable members, the Speaker. Almighty God, we humbly beseech thee to vouchsafe thy blessing upon this parliament. Direct and prosper our deliberations to the advancement of thy glory and the true welfare of the people of Australia. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> Can we for Page, Deputy Speaker? I was required to adjourn the meeting of the main committee in accordance with the standing order 282 because of disorder arising. The Honourable Member for Graindler persisted in disorderly behaviour by refusing to withdraw a remark after being called to order and thus defied the Chair. Honourable Member for Graindler. Mr Speaker, um, I'm, I'm, I recognise the Honourable Member for Graindler on indulgence. Please. Yes. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I appreciate that. Um, the statement that I said yesterday, Mr Speaker, was the sentence was whether it is the issue of Senator Heffernan's disgraceful abuse of parliamentary privilege and his denigration of Australian institutions with the assistance and support of the Prime Minister, whether it is the lies that were told about no, children being for, thrown overboard. The, Mr. The, Speaker. The member for Grainer is speaking on indulgence. If he says something I believe it, uh, abuses that indulgence, I require him to withdraw his seat. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. To resume his seat. Member for Grainer. That, that was my statement. Whether it is the lies that were told about children being thrown overboard. It did not name an individual, and to retract a statement that one knows to be true is indeed to be guilty of telling a lie. The I was not prepared to do that. Everyone knows that children were Grainler not thrown overboard. Seat. Member for Grainler will resume his seat. Member for Grainler runs the risk of, a, of compounding the abuse. I have spoken to the Deputy Speaker as indicated. The concern that the Chair has and the concern that all members have is the obligation that the member for Grainler had in common with all other members to follow the instructions of the Chair. And it was in fact his defiance of the Chair that has brought this matter about. I, I was prepared, having looked at, the hand, looked at the transcript and having spoken at length to the Deputy Speaker. The member for Grainer knows the consequences of that, this action. I was prepared, if he was to apologise to the House and to the Deputy Speaker for his defiance of the Chair, to uh, consider that action, to consider his apology. But it was in, he has to recognise that no matter what he feels about what he said, his defiance of the Chair is the matter that has brought this matter to a head. The, the member for Batman, the member for Batman. The manager of opposition business. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Just on indulgence. indulgence also, and I'll, and I'll be brief. Uh, I'm concerned that uh, a precedent may be set here in the main committee, because it has never been in this house disorderly to say that the government told lies. Member, I, I note that you no. have framed your comments in terms of the chair, and I'm pleased to hear that. But I wanted to register our concern that this is not a precedent that should be applied the in member, this house or in that house. <coughs> The manager of opposition business, if he refers to House of Reps practice, will discover that Speaker Snedden had in fact determined that such an action was unparliamentary, such as comment was unparliamentary. I am prepared to concede that those comments have been made in the past and not been challenged, and that uh, it's, an, it's an area where none of us are particularly comfortable. But what the member for Graindler has done is to defy the chair. That is always unacceptable. The member for Graindler knows that there are there are options available to him, extended to him in this case by the chair. If he wishes to occupy, to take up those options, he can. Otherwise, I will take the actions the standing orders provide. Thank you, 
Thanks, Mr. Speaker. I certainly wish to indicate to you and to the Deputy Speaker that it is unfortunate that this situation has arisen. I certainly do not have had any intention of, in an inappropriate way, defying the, ch defying the chair, and I respect the fact that you put those views on. However, I was in a situation whereby Brain, I certainly Kent could Lund, not withdraw, do, 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 and, do, do, and I regret Brain, the situation. Cannot elaborate. I require him to apologise unreservedly to the Deputy Speaker. Mr Speaker, unfortunately, due to the issue of children being thrown overboard, that is something that I cannot do because, because there were lies Member told about Grainler it. Will and resume it his seat. Member for Grainler will resume his seat. Member for Batman. Member for Batman is warned. The member for Grainler. I have no choice, given the circumstances, but to name the honourable member for Grindler. The Leader of the House. Speaker, I move that the member for Grindler be suspended from the service of the House. The question is that the suspension of the member for Grindler be agreed to. All those of that opinion say aye. aye. Contrary, no. no. I think the ayes have it. No. Is a division required? Division required. Ring the bells. <laughs>
Lock the doors. The question is that the member for Grain will be suspended from the service of the House. The eyes will pass to the right of the chair and the nose to the left. I appoint the honourable members for Corangamite and Mallee tellers for the eyes. The honourable members for Franklin and Melbourne Ports tellers for the nose.
Order. The result of the division is ayes 78, no 61. Question is therefore resolved in the affirmative. The Honourable Member for Graindler is suspended from the House for a period of 24 hours. <laughs> now, the, uh, the Member for Batman, the Member for Batman who intercedes now. He's saying that the airport is Member for Batman. That's what the he's member saying. for Batman. Now, Minister, resume his seat. Member for Lowe. By any measure, the chair has been exceedingly generous to the member for Graindler. He clearly does not wish to represent the people of Graindler for the next hour, and he would excuse himself from the House. The member for Graindler would excuse himself from the House. Or will... The member for Graindler is named. Minister. Speaker, I move that the member for Graindler be suspended from the service of the House. The question is that the motion be agreed to. All those of that opinion say aye. aye. Contrary, no. no. I think the ayes have it. Is the division required? Ring the bells. The member for Lindsay. I remind the member for Cowan that I will deal with the member for Lindsay precisely as I dealt with the member for Graindler.
Lock the doors. The question is that the member for Grange will be excused from the service of the House. The ayes will pass to the right of the chair and the noes to the left. I appoint the honourable members for Karangamite and Mallee tellers for the ayes. The honourable members for Franklin and Melbourne Ports tellers for the noes. Order. The result of the division is ayes 81, no 60. The member for Granger is therefore suspended under Standing Order 303 for the service of the House for 24 hours. The Honourable Leader of the House. Uh, Mr Speaker, I move that so much of the standing and session orders be suspended as would prevent Mr. debate Speaker, on this motion being extended the until 3.34 p.m. And the member Grain is giving seat. And, and the PM the leader of the, the House has the call, and I will hear what he says. Oh, member Grain will resume his seat. I'll deal with him. You can't move a point of order. Not, 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 if, not, if, not while I'm in the middle of moving a motion. The leader can't. of the House has the call, and I will hear the leader of the House. And the member for Grain will resume his seat. The oh, member. Grainer, as you may see, it hasn't, and I call the Leader of the House. Uh, I move that so much of the standing and session orders be suspended as would prevent debate on this motion being extended until 3.34 p.m. and the Prime Minister speaking without interruption for a period not exceeding 10 minutes. Order. The, order. the manager of opposition business. Yes, Mr Speaker. The time allocated for a suspension the of standing orders of is 25 minutes. The manager of it opposition has, business will resume his seat. The manager of opposition business will resume his seat. I'll deal with him. The leader of the house was called before the expiration of the time, and the leader of the house has now moved to an extension of the time. The manager of opposition business. Speaker. The ten plus ten plus five equals twenty-five. I warn the manager of opposition Speaker, business. And time had expired. I name the manager of opposition business. The Leader of the House. I move. You uh, are an embarrassment. Oh. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I move uh, that the member for uh, Graydon be suspended from the service of the House. The question is the motion be agreed to. All those of that opinion say aye. aye. The contrary, no. no. I think the ayes have it. No, Division required. Ring the bells for four minutes.
Lock the doors. The question is that the member for Grain will be suspended from the services of the House. The ayes will pass to the right of the chair, the noes to the left. I point the honourable members for Karangamite and Riverina tell us for the ayes, and the honourable members for Shortland and Melbourne Ports tell us for the noes.
Order. The result of the division is ayes 83, noes 54. The member for Grainler is therefore suspended uh, for 24 hours. The Honourable the Leader of the House. Well, Mr Speaker, uh, as my motion hasn't been stated to the House, I therefore withdraw it and move that so much of the— Mr Speaker, Mr Speaker, I don't know why they don't wish to give prominence to what they're doing outside in their electorates, but there's the member for Gilmore giving the thumbs up, the thumbs up to the program in Shoalhaven. The, the member for Mayo, the, the member for Mayo out there supporting seat. projects. The member for Cook is named. Usually, usually just before, before taking the call, I, I think usually I would not justify my actions in naming somebody. The member for Fisher is warned. No, in fact, the member for Fisher will leave the chamber for one hour under 94A, and he won't even get the benefit of the explanation. The member for Cook, in the period of the hour before question time, was warned by the occupant of the chair. I, rem I was generous in reminding the member for Cook earlier in question time when he was interjecting that he had been warned. He knows that I expect people, when they are coming to the dispatch box, I expect them to be coming to the dispatch box to make a point of order. He came to the dispatch box. He clearly indicated his intentions of why he was coming to the dispatch box by indicating a prop, to use another expression, and taunting the minister across the, the table. He has been named. Well, the, I will, uh, no, the minister will assume his seat, but the member for Sturt will be very careful. Member for Sturt. Mr Speaker, uh, with the greatest of respect, I would ask you, I would uh, plead your indulgence to allow the member for Cook, who I'm sure had forgotten the status that he held, no. to apologise to the House. No, sorry. To apologise to the House and give him the opportunity not to be named. No, look, I, I understand that the, the manager of opposition business has a responsibility on behalf of those that, that he's guiding, but on this occasion, I, look, I did give the member for Cook a chance earlier in question time, and I, there is a limit to the way in which I can be tolerant about these things. The Leader of the House. I move that the member be suspended from the services of the House. Yeah. Order. The question is that the member be suspended from the services of the House. All those of that opinion say aye. aye. Contrary, no. no. I think the ayes have it. Division required. Ring the bells.
Lock the doors. The question is that the member be suspended from the services of the House. The ayes will pass the right of the chair, the noes to the left. I appoint the members for Werriwa and Chifley tell us for the ayes, and the members for Riverina and Forest tell us for the noes.
Order. The result of the division is ayes 79, noes 53. The question is therefore resolved in the affirmative. The member for Cook is therefore suspended under standing on 94 for 24 hours. The opposition from time to time has tried to say to the Australian people that he understands their concerns about these Liberal endorsed rip-offs. For example, the Leader of the Opposition on 25 May 2008 said work choices is dead, the people have spoken. The and of course Order. on 26 November— Deputy Prime Minister. Deputy Prime Minister has the call. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I, I warn the member for Warringah if he's going to wander around like that, he will take. Like, if you wish, I will warn the manager of opposition business and the leader of the House together, if that's what you want, member for North Sydney. But I will not have people deciding that they can just wander around the House as a gesture. I, I have warned the member for Warringah. The Deputy Prime Minister. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. And I do understand that whenever the member for Warringah is near a microphone, people become concerned about a word being used that isn't suitable for daytime TV. Uh, but, Mr. Speaker, of course, I'm referring. I to name the member for Warringah. The Leader of the House. I move that the member be suspended from the services of the House. The question is the motion moved by the Leader of the House be agreed to. All those of that opinion say aye. aye. Contrary, no. Aye. I think the ayes have it. Division required? Division required. Ring the bells.
Lock the doors. The eyes will pass to the right of the chair, the nose to the left. I appoint the honourable members for Shortland and Werribee tellers for the eyes, and the members for Riverina, and the ever alert member for Ryan, the member for Ryan as tellers for the nose. Order. The result of the division is ayes 80, no 62. The question is therefore resolved in the affirmative. The member is suspended under standing on 94 for 24 hours. The Deputy Prime Minister. Thank you very much, Mr Speaker. And I do understand the embarrassment and sensitivity about this issue by those opposite. Without justice is no peace whatsoever. And Mr Speaker, this country and this government will take its stand for justice as it always has in the past. <coughs> yeah, my member for Lily. Those thugs have gagged debate on the most important question before the people member of this country. They have gagged the debate in this parliament the and they are going to do it again. His seat. The, uh, the member for Lily will withdraw that first statement, just as I required the member for Hume to withdraw the comment he'd made earlier in the debate. Mr Speaker, it is politically the thuggery, thuggery, will thuggery will and I will not withdraw. Statement. If the member for Lilly persists in defying the chair, I will deal with him. He will withdraw the statement or be dealt with. Which statement, Mr Speaker? 
I have already indicated to Mr Lilly that his opening remarks were as unacceptable as the remarks of the member for Hume and ask him to withdraw them. Mr Speaker, the government has gagged debate the twice member, in here on motions about Lilly the most important named. factor affecting the oral peace. The member for Lilly is named. Uh, Mr Speaker, uh, I move that the member for Lilly be suspended from the service of the House. The question is that the motion be agreed to. All those of that opinion say aye. aye. Contrary, no. no. The ayes have it. Is the division required? Ring the bells. Order. The member for Brisbane has a very short memory. Lock the doors. The question is that the member for Lilly be suspended from the service of the House for defiance of the chair. The eyes will pass to the right of the chair and the nose to the left. I appoint the honourable members for Karangamite and Mallee tell us for the eyes. The honourable members for Melbourne, Ports and Stirling tell us for the nose. Thank you. 
the division is I-76, nose 56. Honourable oh. member is therefore suspended from the service of the House under Standing Order 303 for 24 hours. <laughs> the time for the debate on the motion to suspend standing. Member for Lilly has well, if it would assist the Prime Minister, Mr. Speaker, I refer Does him the member to for Lilly the 26th order? of August 2002. The member for Lilly will excuse himself from the House. I had already warned the member for Lilly. I invite him to resume his seat. The, chair the member for Lilly is named. The leader, leader of the House. I, I move that the member for Lilly be suspended from the service of the House. The question is that the motion be agreed to. All those that opinion say aye. aye. Contrary, no. Aye. I think the ayes have it. Is a division required? Ring the bells.
Lock the doors. The question is that the member for Lilly be suspended from the service of the House for a period. The, the ayes will pass to the right of the chair and the noes to the left. I appoint the honourable members for Karangamite and Malley tell us for the ayes. The honourable members for Franklin and Melbourne Ports tell us for the noes.
Order. The result of the division is ayes 80, noes 57. The question is therefore resolved in the affirmative. This being the honourable member's second suspension during this year, the suspension is for the remainder of this sitting and the next three consecutive sittings. Member for Solomon, Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I had I had begun to um, uh, to answer the question, but as um, the uh, the member for Lilly has taken himself out of the game, I don't think there's anything I can usefully add. I ask that further questions be placed on the notice paper. Yeah. Madam Speaker, Madam Speaker, was that the member for Lilly? Yes. The member for Lilly will withdraw his comment and leave under 94A. I withdraw, but he's still a liar. I think uh, I name the member for Lilly. I call the uh, manager of government business, the I leader move, of the house. I move that the member be excused from the service of the house. The question is that the member be excused from the house. All those in favour, please say aye. aye. The contrary, no. no. I think the ayes have it. No. Yeah. Is there a division required? Ring the bells for four minutes. The Leader of the House has drawn to my attention that the member for Lilly is attempting to vote. He may not. He had already been asked to leave under 94A before he was named. He had actually left the chamber when he was named. Yes, I'll accept the point of order from the manager of opposition business. Came back into the chamber at your instruction. And was at the microphone at your instruction. That was when you named him. Um, I'll, I'll consult the clerk. I don't believe I did ask him back. I have consulted with the clerk, um, who advises me that the scenario I put to you earlier, that he had been removed under 94A, uh, but has subsequently been named, means that it would be in accordance with tradition for him to resume his place in the chamber to vote. Therefore, I invite him to come back and take his seat.
Lock the doors. <coughs> the eyes will pass to the right of the chair, the nose to the left of the chair. I appoint the tellers for the eyes as the members for right and parks, and I appoint as tellers for the nose the members for Shortland and Lawler.
The result of the division is eyes 87, noes 50. The motion is therefore resol resolved in the affirmative, and the member for Lilly is uh, excluded from the services of the House for 24 hours. I call the Honourable the Prime Minister. Madam Speaker, the, and this is not a, a criticism of the Leader of the House, the, I was about to do that at the, at the conclusion of the answer rather than interrupt the answer. And, uh, I say to the member for Lilly, uh, he knows those, the words that he was using are unparliamentary, and I'd ask him to withdraw. I will not withdraw. It's a lie. The, and I say to the member for Lilly, it is the Minister for the Environment will not interject. I've asked the member for Lilly to withdraw. All members who have used those words have been asked to withdraw. I name the member for Lilly. Mr. Speaker, I move the member excused from service of the House. The question is that the motion moved by the Leader of the House be agreed to. All those of that opinion say aye. aye. Contrary, no. Aye. I think the ayes have it. Division required. Ring the bells for four minutes.
lock the doors. The question is that the motion moved by the Leader of the House be agreed to. The ayes will pass to the right of the chair, the noes to the left. I appoint the honourable members for Parks and Braddon Teller for the ayes and the honourable members for Lawler and Shortland, tellers for the nose. Order. The result of the division is ayes 83, noes 51. The question is therefore resolved in the affirmative. The honourable member for Lilly is suspended from the service of the House for 24 hours. The Prime Minister. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I ask that further questions be placed on the notice paper. Thank the Prime Minister.